The following is a Fox 30 UPN2 Community Spotlight. A lot of my work uh, emanates from a time I spent overseas. I used to write my parents letters uh, about how I was doing and trying to keep the calm about my being in the military overseas. Um, when I was overseas, the, the vivid colors and the uh, oriental style of art that they had, uh, it just grabbed me. And it, it reflects in just about all the work I do now. I like working with colored pencils and ink. Uh, it gives a very bright, vivid colored picture. Um, I work with flowers. Um, it seems to be something that everybody recognizes. It's uh, a, simply a matter of starting with a couple of simple shapes and, and overlapping them and uh, eventually you've, you've filled in your full surface of picture and you're standing back going wonderful, what a, what a great thing. When you start working on a picture and it starts coming together, the vision that you have starts showing itself on the piece of paper. One of the fun parts about using colored pencils and pen in artwork is a variety of things that you can do. And sometimes things show up that you had not intended. For example, I was passing my artwork past a black light and I realized that a few of the colors in my box reflected to uh, almost a, an iridescent a light bulb uh, night light effect. The first time I took my pictures outside the comfort of home and family, I was a little apprehensive about how they would be received by the public. But the first time I saw that people enjoyed my work, um, as an artist, it was an incredible feel-good thing. And, and there is no way to describe how good it feels to have somebody appreciate your work. Paradise Pip Printing, Sierra Nevada Brewing, and R.W. Knudsen proudly support the creative spirit.